This video includes a paid sponsorship from Span, but more on that later. As you've likely heard, several big changes are coming for the Tesla Model 3, and for that matter, several of Tesla's other vehicles. And now thanks to several people in the Tesla community, we have a rough idea of some of the things we can expect. In this video, I wanna talk about some of the changes that I expect with the new Model 3. And in addition, I wanna talk a bit about Tesla's full self-driving computer, their new hardware for iteration of that computer. So stick around and we'll dive into these details. I'm John and this is CleanerWatt. As we dive in, I wanna give a special shout out to one of my newest Patreon supporters, uh, Jeff Lowy. Thanks for your support, it makes a big difference. And also thank you to the other Patreon supporters, including the performance supporters who do support this channel and help make this content possible. Rumors about Tesla's Highland project have been swirling about the Tesla community lately. And while this project likely involves a lot more than just the Model 3, one of the first fruits of this project will likely be a Model 3 refresh. And as we'll talk about, there should be a number of interior and exterior changes and also very likely a hardware change in addition to uh, maybe even a structural change for the rear and front underbodies. Overall, the main goal of this project is very likely manufacturing simplification. I personally believe Tesla will be switching to the front and rear underbody castings for the Model 3 to mirror the current process of manufacturing the Model Y, as I've talked about in the past, but beyond changes like that that the customer won't be able to actually see, there should be a number of changes that are actually cosmetic in nature. If you're on Twitter, you've likely seen posts like this from the kilowatts of various vehicles driving around Tesla's Fremont factory with the front and the rear of the vehicle covered like this Model 3 here. And while we don't have any official pictures of what the changes will look like, it's very obvious that Tesla is making some changes to the front and rear of the Model 3, for instance, based on them covering up the vehicle in this way. There is one small change that was pointed out by Smokey Shorts in reply to pictures that the kilowatts put out. And as you can see, Smokey Shorts tweeted, does this camera have a longer flare out into the door or just some reflection? The kilowatts confirmed that quote, previously this flare stopped before the door with the Model 3, but continued into the door with Model Y. So this is a very small change, but it likely hints at a new camera being installed for the Model 3 in the future. And we'll talk more about cameras in a minute in Hardware 4. When it comes to more changes that we should see with the Model 3 and also some details about Hardware 4, I will dive into a great thread that was recently published by Tesla Scope on Twitter. But before I do that, I wanna introduce the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to Span for sponsoring this video. In addition to enabling remote monitoring and circuit level control, the Span Smart Electrical Panel can alert you to energy use and generation anomalies and help you detect potential problems. For example, if your solar generation is lower than expected as compared to past data, SPAN will alert you so you can check on your system. Get more out of your home solar and home battery backup systems with a SPAN smart panel. Find out more and get a quote for your particular situation at span.io or click the link in the video description. And when you do fill out that form to get a quote, make sure that you let Span know that John from CleanerWatt sent you. At Teslascope recently published a really helpful thread on Twitter discussing various changes reportedly shared by Tesla employees. However, do note that these changes have not been officially confirmed by Tesla. As Teslascope mentions, quote, everything expressed below has been shared by Tesla employees, although we must legally note this does not represent the company. So like anything that doesn't come directly from Tesla, there might be some inaccuracies in this information. So uh, keep that in mind as I dive into these details. But nonetheless, Teslascope has been a reliable source of information. So I believe this is worth talking about. I definitely recommend that you go over and follow Teslascope on Twitter if you're not already, uh, because they put out great information. But here are some highlights from this thread, starting with details about the Model 3 refresh, which was discussed near the end of this thread. In this thread, Teslascope tweeted out, quote, as of last night, there are over a dozen new EPC listings 
although we've only been permitted to share the following. Just so you know, EPC stands for Tesla's parts catalog, so Tesla Scope is referring to new parts being added to the parts catalog. The specific new part that is mentioned here is a windshield glass assembly, which apparently has no temperature or humidity sensor. With these new parts finding their way into the catalog, Tesla Scope mentions a redesign for the Model 3Y is now underway. This thread continues, the Model 3Y will receive a handful of exterior and interior changes, including new mirrors and a tri-band GPS, allowing Tesla to eliminate the need for various sensors, including external temperature. Regarding this, Green the Only on Twitter recently published a very helpful thread with some images of hardware 4. And in all that, this new GPS module with a tri-band antenna was mentioned. So that's another great confirmation. When it comes to the handful of exterior changes, it looks like it's just going to be some small tweaks to the design of the front and the rear of the vehicle. And when it comes to some interior changes, one of the changes that I expect comes from a tweet from Chris Zhang on Twitter as well, where Chris mentioned an early farewell to the wood trim on the Tesla Model 3. In my opinion, this wood trim is a good balance of low cost, high volume, and design vibe. The new Model 3 will be covered with ABS bonded foam, non-woven fabric. While I do like the wood look for the black interior of the Model 3 and Model Y. I think this cloth could look really good and maybe in the future Tesla will offer cloth seats for the rear wheel drive Model 3. That could be an interesting cost savings um, for that lower model and would actually be something I would get excited about as I've talked about in the past. Tesla Scope continues, many other refinements are underway, although can't speak to this right now. Okay, moving beyond the refresh, let's now talk about Hardware 4 once again with information from Tesla Scope in this thread. Tesla Scope writes, Hardware 4 has already begun production, gratefully confirmed externally by kilowatts. When it comes to the timing of Tesla moving to Hardware 4 for their vehicles, Tesla Scope writes, Tesla's goal is for all vehicle models to be delivered with this new hardware by the end of summer, including those made in China and Berlin. Now the kilowatts and Green the Only on Twitter have confirmed that Tesla has started installing hardware for computers in the Model S and X. For instance, in this tweet, the kilowatt shared an image of a new VIN number for a vehicle, and Green the Only said, yes, this one is hardware for. Now, apparently Tesla hasn't delivered any vehicles to customers with hardware for yet, and we'll talk more about that later on. Um, but nonetheless, the Model S and X are apparently being produced right now with hardware for, and deliveries are going to be coming in the future of those vehicles. And I expect that the Model 3 and the Model Y will follow in the next few months as we move towards the end of summer, as was mentioned in the Tesla Scope thread. Now I'm going to dive into a few surface details about Hardware 4, but I'm not going to do a deep dive. But one of the changes that have been confirmed with Hardware 4 has to do with the addition of new cameras, at least the port on the Hardware 4 computer to allow for new cameras. In their thread, Tesla Scope wrote, about a week ago, at Green the Only showcased a close to production iteration of Hardware 4, which included additional camera ports. Tesla Scope is referring once again to this thread from Green the Only, which included this picture here with the description, there are now 12 fully populated camera connectors. One is marked spare though. When it comes to the location of each one of these cameras, Green the Only continued on, so make that 11 cameras. The names are a bit cryptic, but looks like side cams are in front fenders now. Rumors of two cameras in the windshield are confirmed. With that being said, even though the hardware for computer has space for more cameras, that doesn't mean that all of Tesla's vehicles are necessarily going to immediately have more cameras because Tesla Scope once again writes in this thread, as of this moment, no actively produced Model S, 3, X, Y will include additional cameras. Instead, Tesla has begun to upgrade the resolution of cameras silently starting in late December, 2022. When it comes to confirmation of these new cameras, the kilowatts on Twitter tweeted out these pictures and wrote, it looks like every Model S, X without visible ultrasonic sensors in the delivery lot has camera units that I've never seen before. These new cameras apparently have a higher resolution and maybe even some kind of anti-reflective coating on them. And uh, hopefully they will help Tesla's autopilot system function even better and get them to full self-driving feature complete. Going back to that Tesla scope thread, the Cybertruck being produced this year and in production semis will be the first vehicles to have the additional cameras and hardware for from the start. Before then, the Model X and S will be the first vehicles to include the new cameras. And this will gradually transition to include Model 3Y made in all regions before the end of the year. Once again, the Model 3 and the Model Y are the last to get these changes because they are their high 
volume vehicles. And also keep in mind that the Model 3 and Model Y are being produced at multiple factories, whereas the Model S and X are only being produced at Tesla's Fremont factory right now. Now, when Tesla moved from their Hardware 2 to Hardware 3 computer, their Hardware 3 uh, full self-driving computer, Tesla was able to retrofit older cars for those who wanted to pay for that upgrade. And also those who paid for the full self-driving package were able to get that upgrade uh, without paying for it. However, it doesn't appear like that's going to be an option for the Hardware 4 computer. Once again, going back to that Tesla scope thread, they wrote, we're also sad to inform the community that no decision changes have been made regarding Hardware 3 to Hardware 4 retrofits. The answer internally at Tesla is still no, and service bulletins for the retrofit are still non-existent. There is a small amount of hope, as there is occasionally internal chatter regarding this, although nothing has changed since Elon's last update during the shareholders meeting. This seems to be confirmed by Green the Only, who mentioned, to start with sort of bad news, the form factor is totally different, so definitely no retrofits on this one. This of course could be a tricky situation in the future if hardware three computers are not sufficient to get to full self-driving feature complete and that requires hardware four, but we'll have to see how this plays out. Maybe Tesla will be able to train their neural net such with the hardware four computers and with that learning, the hardware three cars will still be able to have full self-driving feature complete. We'll see. Um, right now, of course, we don't know. Now, when it comes to the reason why these hardware for Tesla Model S and Xs are currently sitting in a delivery lot and are not being delivered to customers right now, Tesla Scope addressed this by writing, so you may be asking, why haven't any customers delivered hardware for yet if the vehicles are sitting in the delivery lot? The software to support hardware for is still being finalized and must be completed before deliveries begin next month. Engineers at Tesla have a deadline to achieve this by March, so please give them your patience and support as this is undoubtedly a stressful timeline. Now, if you want more technical details about Tesla's hardware for computer, I definitely recommend that you go over to the Green the Only thread, which I will link to in the video description. And Green the Only does dive into a number of technical details and shares some images that I believe you might find interesting. But nonetheless, it appears like the performance of this new hardware for computer is a decent step up from the current Hardware 3 computer, which is still very impressive. Now, when it comes to the return of radar sensors in Tesla's vehicles, apparently HD radar has been confirmed for these Hardware 4 vehicles. Tesla Scope was asked about this and wrote, correct, it is assumed that any of the Model S X waiting in the delivery lot at Fremont with Hardware 4 also have the HD radars installed, just no additional cameras for the time being. This was apparently confirmed by Green the Only on Twitter that these vehicles do have radar sensors. Once again, Tesla bringing back radar is something I hope Elon Musk addresses. And maybe once again, it'll be something where they have this HD radar and they're able to train the neural net and vehicles that don't have radar will benefit from those learnings and won't need it for the future. But nonetheless, I do believe this is something that Tesla needs to address for their customers, and I believe this is a really important issue. To close all this, at the very end of this thread, Tesla Scope wrote, and to end this thread with a bang, Elon Musk will make one of the most significant Tesla announcements in many years at Investor's Day on March 1st. Whether attending in person or watching the stream online, you will absolutely want to clear your schedule. I agree with Tesla Scope, March 1st is definitely a date that I'm looking forward to, and I'm really excited to learn more about Tesla's future, and hopefully, some of their projects like Project Highland and maybe even the new compact Tesla that a lot of people expect to be talked about at this event. Make sure that you follow Green the Only, Tesla Scope, and the Kilowatts on Twitter because they share a lot of great information like we talked about in this video. And I'd really love to hear from you in the comments section below, maybe about some of the changes you expect with the Model 3 or the Model Y in the future and what you think about all this. I also wanna say once again, a special thank you to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and helps make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description so you can find out more. Thank you so much.